What? Not sure. I just figured I'd come by and check. Depends on the project, but there are some cases where it's okay to show up to the set and see. Intimate? No work for me today after all. Disappointing. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, as good as can be said. Keeping busy making the dreams of children come true. Although I'm not sure they're doing the same for me. College students aren't the world's greatest tippers. Especially compared to that nice new hotel job. I need a place where I can perfect my tricks before using them elsewhere. Oh, I do those too. This is an illusion. Here, when I turn my palm over, my hand looks empty. When I move my fingers like so, the card pops up. If I do it fast enough, it looks like I'm pulling a card out of the air. See, making a card appear like that is the illusion. The trick is letting you think that was all there is to it. That's right. And on a strictly selfish note, I like seeing you around. Funny you should say that. I got an interesting job-like offer the other day. A couple of entrepreneurs are trying to launch an entertainment website full of original content. They're asking me to do a video of street magic for the site's launch. Problem is, this is a really professional level project. The cheap cameras we've been using for our blogs won't cut it. They're giving me money to make this, but I have to handle all of the actual production myself. Since you've got more connections in that area, I was wondering if you could help me out. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. I'll call you about details later. Ciao! Greetings! I love weird. What's up? Sure thing. Wednesday morning at 24? See you then.
I'm delighted to be seen. And vice versa is much the same. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, he's very different. I play a character codenamed Vice, who's, um, well, he's a serial killer. It's certainly a departure from what people are used to seeing. Co-producer, I'm working closely with a dear friend of mine, Lloyd Newton. Uh, you may know him from directing Double Agent. We've also got the input of a rising talent, Sean Gooden. When we first pitched the show, the story was only being told from the point of view of Katerina, Selena Haraway's character. It was Sean's idea to feature Vice's side as well. Well, Lloyd certainly did his share of cajoling, but yes. Mystery, mind games, plenty of plot twists. You'll have to re-watch all the previous episodes afterwards to catch the hints you've missed. I'm afraid not. You'll have to see it for yourself. Greetings! Sure, where to? Sounds perfect. See you there. Hey, uh, what's on the menu for today? I hope you don't mind if I steal a bite from you. Sean, I'm glad I reached you. I can't get a hold of Adam. He isn't answering his mobile or returning my messages. I need to know the status of his next song. The demo is due soon. Oh? Did something happen? It's hardly nagging. This is literally his job. Don't cover for him, Sean. You know as well as I do that an attitude like that doesn't fit in a workplace like this. Please do. Yo, what's up? That's because there's nothing to say. What, so he can yell at me some more? Pass. I'm really tired. Not that kind of tired. I'm tired of writing music for other people. I'm tired of having to create something on someone else's schedule. But I didn't know it would be this stressful. Deadlines, expectations, that's too much pressure. Music used to be my escape. Now it's my prison. Remember the time I went out swimming alone? It was like the most terrifying moment of my life. No matter how hard I tried, the land kept getting further and further away. And that's how I feel now. Except this time, there's no miracle fishing boat to bring me back home.
Thanks. Having you around really helps, you know? And I know I can always rely on you. And I'm sorry you're going through all of this. I hope that you know you can rely on me too. You're right. I guess I should call John. Sean? Hey, uh... Is this a good time? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> 